Welcome to our monthly Forge newsletter. This month, we are going to talk about steady state, hot trolling, simulations, incorporated with Forge NXT 2.0. This simulation will run several iterations to eventually get to the steady state of our rolling process. We provide an example, setting up a simulation, and showing the main results. First, we have to prepare the geometries we are going to use. This type of simulation requires to establish two symmetry planes in the billet geometry. Thus, we have to trim the billet in our CAD software using two symmetry planes prior to import the geometry in Forge. In this case, we are using one quarter of the geometry. Now, we can create the simulation in Forge. First, select the hot rolling, steady state template in the processes tab. Customize workspace and objects, and import the geometries. In this type of simulation, we always use the stationary rolling file for the press definition. Set rotational speed and rotational axis for the roll. The axis point information corresponds with the center of gravity of the roll. To get this information, you can move the cursor and hover the roll in the object window. Use the coordinates indicated in the center section. Do not forget to add the symmetry planes. We define the billet mesh in the extrusion section. First, set the rolling direction. You can also specify the input plane and dimensions of the final geometry. Adjust these values until you get a good design. The resulting geometry has to be remeshed as we would do with any SDL geometry. Next, we set material, temperature, and friction, and thermal exchange coefficients. In features, make sure the rolling direction is right. The storage frequency determines how many iterations you store. 1. Will store every iteration calculated. In the steady state computation tab, we define how many iterations can be calculated. You can start with the default number. We will check later in the results if we need more. Before saving the setup, we check if the roll is rotating as we want. Go to the Insert tab and use the Distance command in the Annotation section to create a line to track the movement in the roll. Now, create an animation with Preview Kinematics and check the rotation is right. To finish with the setup, we save the simulation and launch it. Finally, we show the main results to check. First, customize the visualization environment. Here, it is important to remember that the results in each iteration or increment show the final steady state information for the rolling process. The solver adjusts these results in every subsequent iteration trying to get the most accurate solution. The norm of domain correction result shows how much the solver has corrected the previous increment to calculate the next one. It is calculated in every node, so we know the areas that the solver is correcting more. Here, zero means no correction. For your information, there is an additional steady state hot rolling example in our online tutorials. You can access them from the Home tab in the Help section. That is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed this newsletter. Please feel free to contact us if you have any question or comment. 
You can contact Nicholas Poulain at nicholas.poulain at transvalorimericas.com. You can also find this newsletter as well, as all other past newsletters on our website, www.transvalorusa.com section newsletters. Thank you for joining the community of our newsletter readers, and we will see you next month for some other exciting videos. Have a nice day.